All right, we're just a few days away from Charlotte Regionals, and I got this in the mail. We have the new Arcane Fortress Radiant 100 Plus deck box. Uh, Arcane Fortress hit me up and asked if they could send one over, and here we are. Uh, we're going to use it for the regional, so I'm going to open this up now and unbox it, give you some first thoughts, and then during the rest of the vlog for the Charlotte Regionals, I will give a little bit of a review as I'm using this with hands-on, like, regional playing experience. Uh, but to go over it, it holds 100-plus double-sleeved cards. There's three dividers. You have a water-resistant nanofiber material. There's a dice box inside that holds multiple dice sets, so if you've got your damage counters, your poison burn markers, ability use counters, whatever, it should all fit inside. Microfiber interior, and it is N38 magnets to hold it shut. I chose the Blossom Grace pink with the lotus -y style flower inside. There are other ones themed around different sort of uh, colors and themes. <clears throat> well, let's open this up right out of the gate. It's nice and secure inside of some plastic inside of the box. And it feels pretty sturdy uh, already. So there's that. Uh, we have the Radiant 100 on the side. There's the back. Of course, there's the Blossom on the front. Arcane Fortress, the brand, on top. And so let's open this up. Okay, got a nice little piece of paper protecting it. And yeah, that's, that's actually really smooth inside here. So that's the... Uh, full top-down view, uh, three dividers, and you know what, these aren't like your typical dividers, they're like padded, uh, kind of almost foamy, um, but they've got the design on there, and you've got left, center, and right dividers, so if you want to fit extra sleeves or whatever, uh, so let's check out over here, okay, so the dice box just completely removes, and it is sealable, so I should have uh, grabbed some dice to fill this up. Actually, I should have within arm's reach. I thought I did. There we go. So I've been using a, a dice bag for the hottest of minutes here. So... We got some uh, 3D printed ability used markers. It looks like they're gonna fit in there nice and well. Uh, I've got some thinner, older ones that we've done. So we've got some coin flip die. And we've got my poison and burn markers here. V star marker. And of course, all of my damage counter dice. So I will have to organize this because of my uh, ability markers. They are a little bit on the bigger side, but honestly, you can fit a decent amount in there and still close it up. I'm literally shaking it upside down. <clears throat> and it's staying, it's staying shut. Like I am actively like I had to hit it. I had to hit it on the bottom to make that open. That's really good. Like I had to hit it and squeeze to pop the sides out to make that happen. So that's actually really nice. That's really good. Now I have some dice to clean up. In terms of deck going inside, let's get rid of the uh, paper there. Move all this out of the way. In terms of shoving a deck in. We've got this deck here and some extra cards for it. Fits in, no problem. So that is a single sleeved 60 card deck. So you could fit the three dividers right in there. And then I've got some extra sleeves, not too, too many, but if you had a little bit more. It works out. You could put your extra cards in the back half. And then we could put the 
dice back back on and it snaps in pretty magnetically there so that's very nice you can actually it, it feels tighter this way lining it up so we can seal the deck box back up and yeah yeah again I, I'm aggressively shaking it and it's staying pretty shut and yeah everything uh, held up pretty well inside so yeah if you're interested in this sort of deck box I'll have a link down in the description below the video let me know what you think uh, if you get one you're supporting me as well uh, so keep that in mind uh, but yeah a uh, big shout out to Arcane Fortress for hooking us up with their deck box here and uh, I like it I'm going to use it this weekend at regionals and we'll see what happens see you later all right, so it's been a little over a week, and uh, it's been a few days since the regionals, and yes, uh, hands-on review time for the Arcane Fortress Radiant 100+. Plus. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed using this deck box at regionals. It made everything pretty easy to just be able to roll up my mat and seal this back up and just chuck it into my bag. Uh, nothing came loose or undone or damaged over the course of of the weekend um so yeah it didn't i mean I, I might have scratched it up a tiny little bit but that can get cleaned off that's not necessarily any fault of the product itself that's just me being reckless i intentionally wanted to put this to the bringer uh i did originally want to put this in the vlog um but they reached out and were like hey where's your where's your content at so here it is um this is what happens when you uh you know, have a life, unfortunately. I can't just drop everything all the time. But, I, again, I do appreciate them uh, sending this deck box. I definitely recommend it. Again, it held up pretty well. It held my deck inside. And then I also had my, I had a Foy Coco. I used a Good Luck Charm. And it technically fit in there. And uh, I didn't feel like it was going to ruin any cards or whatever. The dividers are super nice. And now we have a Marape chilling. Again, uh, I'm missing a few cards. I, I'm moving battle passes around right now, but yeah, it felt perfectly fine. Uh, I played Golden Go for the weekend, and deck was deck was chill. Uh, but yeah, the the deck box held up very well. Again, the magnetic dice box was a lifesaver. My poison and burn markers are buried in there right now. I didn't really have to use them at all, but it held up very well. Uh, again, I do appreciate this. I, I recommend it if you want to get one to check them out or to support me in turn check out the link down below in the description and you can also use code steuben at checkout for 10 percent off i believe on top of using that link so either or or both uh whatever float your boat whatever you want to do but yeah this is uh this is nice check them out and uh it's sturdy it's kept sealed and i enjoy it i give it the uh the old stube of approval or whatever you want to call it See you next time.